First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Nick Jansen. High temperatures today. They weren't in the 40s or the 50s, but we were still 13 to 15 degrees above average across most of the upper Midwest here. So as you look at Rochester, that high of 38 degrees. Notice our average high at 25. So even though it was a little colder today, right, we're still well above average. And if we just look across the country, a lot of locations, even here in the blue, are still above average. And that is that El Nino effect that we've been talking about taking place out in the Pacific Ocean. And that's really, really warmed uh, just not just the upper Midwest, but the whole continental United States. These type of temperatures will continue into January too. The latest Climate Prediction Center outlook here is showing an above average trend for, you guessed it, temperatures in January. So it's been warm December, probably one of the warmer, warmest Decembers on record in terms of just our average temperature across uh, Rochester and most of Southeast Minnesota. The same might be happening for the month of January. In terms of our precipitation, well, maybe things will start to pick up a little bit more here as uh, we're in that gray color, which means we should be close to normal. We have not been close to normal in terms of our snowfall here this December. Partly cloudy and quiet here tonight. We will pick up some cloud cover here. What we're tracking through the rest of the week just talked about it staying above average, even highs in the upper 20s like we could have by about New Year's Eve. That's still above average. Snow chances really limited. We have a light chance coming up on Thursday. Some flurries possible through the daytime hours tomorrow, and then we are dry. Notice Friday extending all the way into Wednesday. No major weather makers on the way. We haven't had too many besides the one that just brought all the rainfall and could potentially impact some of the upper Midwest coming up tomorrow. Right now, obviously dry and quiet here on future track radar, but that center of the low pressure still spinning <laughs> right in the Midwest here through Missouri. And notice we can kind of see everything's moving counterclockwise. So this low is impacting uh, areas all the way out into the plains and as far east as say Toronto and even towards Detroit. All of this precip here continues to move back to the west northwest and that will be the precipitation that we're keeping an eye on for tomorrow. Currently future track just keeps it just down to our south and southeast. So we might pick up some snowfall through about Houston, maybe Almaquay, Winnesheek and even eastern Fillmore County. I think in Rochester, Olmstead County, maybe a couple flurries throughout the day today, unless if that shifts farther and farther to the west. Temperatures fast forwarding into Friday. We'll start things off in the 20s and then warm into the upper 30s. And we'll see some sunshine on the way to round out the work week. Talked about the snowfall, maybe some light accumulations. Like I said, close to Winnesheek, Almaquay, Houston counties. Not expecting too much if you're along 52 or to the west. Temperature outside on our Lewis and Nada live camera here tonight at 27. We'll watch temps drop down a couple more degrees here tonight. 24 for the low. We're partly cloudy and mild. I mean, temperatures should be in the low teens. Temperatures tomorrow, low 30s with some cloud cover. We will have the chance for some flurries tomorrow. Seven day forecast here, 38 for the high Friday, 32 on Saturday this weekend. Again, still just slightly above average, low 30s and upper 20s. And we will see some sunshine on the new year on January 1st with 30 for the high. Tom. Sunshine.